Hello, hello, hello. It's Boxing Day in Tidmouth. A bit more about that later on, but look how packed the car park is. Oh, I'm going to turn the wind blocker off. Just remembered. There we are. We won't need that today. It says virtually no wind at all. Absolutely crammed full. There's cars coming in, going all the way around. Why is it so busy? Because Boxing Day is one of the busiest days that we have in the winter in Timmouth. I'll tell you why in a sec, but before that, let's say I hope you had a wonderful Christmas yesterday, or well, the day before for you, I suppose, when you see this video. But um, I did, I had a great time. My son got me a lovely gift, which I'm gonna share with you at some point. I'm not gonna do it this second, but I'm gonna film a little insert of it for um, my New Year's Eve, or not New Year's Eve, New Year's Day video, where I do a live, and I'll show you it then. But um, yes, absolutely brilliant. So I hope you had a good one too. Right, let's get up to the observation deck. Boxing Day bunnies at Lido. There's one. There's two. And there's three and four. Boxing Day bunnies. Lovely. So why is it so busy today in Timmouth? Well, as you'll probably know from the title of this video, or at least the thumbnail, it's the uh, traditional Boxing Day walk into the sea. Crazy. In fancy dress as well. Now, as you see up there in the distance, there they are all preparing for it. It goes mental, absolutely crazy. There we go, 20 times zoom. One or two people, I think, just a few. And the team being doing a war and trade as well. Plenty of beach activity. As we look at the seawall, which we won't be taking today, up towards Spray Point. Lovely. So, I'll give you my plan, and then if it doesn't happen, you know what I was trying, trying to do. It's a um, nice calm day, got the drone with me. I want to take the drone up into the sky, see if I can film them actually walking into the sea at 11 o'clock. That said, I'm not allowed to fly over crowds, and um, the definition of a crowd can be sort of argued, but there's no argue that there's going to be crowds there. So I plan to stand by the um, bowling green, and then go up over the roof of the pavilions. So I'll be looking down onto the seafront from above the pavilions, so I won't actually be flying at any point over any people or any crowds. That's the plan anyway. I've got just under 20 minutes to get there before they walk into the sea, which should take me maybe 10 minutes if that. And then I've got 10 minutes to set up and get the drone up in the air, so it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Yep, one or two people up here on the seafront. Just a few, lovely jubbly. Got to look out for Scotty and Mark. They're down as well, apparently. Got a nice centre now about the um, old mine there, which I'll do in a day or so. So there we go. There's the uh, top of the um, pavilions if I can fly over there I'm all right look down on this should be okay crazy Yep, certainly a touch busier than it normally looks here. And still the crowds continue to flood down towards this area here by the pier where they're going to be walking in. I'm going to make my way down here to the other side of the pavilions where I can put the drone up and then stand down here so I've got visual line of sight of the drone above the pavilions as well as the view from the drone itself which will be recording right here we go i'm going to get set up to launch going to fly up above there right let's go here we go off up into the sky look at the crowds just look at them isn't that crazy i have seen that much activity on tim the seafront since the air show amazing let's pan down 
yeah all the way along nice and slowly again we're not rushing things today just take your time see everyone going along people with dogs father christmas there going by in the center people on bikes there's the pier coming into view lovely Bit of a sudden spin, I think. There we go, gave you fair warning. Looking back that way. Going to go up a little bit now, I think. Get a bit more of a view of the beach. There they are. All on the beach, and you see they're jumping up and down. They're doing their warm up now. So I'm going to switch over now to um, a different sort of mode on the camera in a minute, which will mean that things are a little bit blurrier, but I'll be able to zoom in a bit more. Anyway, that's just a technicality. Got my filters on today so everything should be a bit more clearer in general there we go i mean i'm on the, I'm on the other camera now if you even notice there they are doing their warm-ups their jumping jacks obviously i haven't just filmed non-stop i've cut little bits and edited together because otherwise this would have been about a 15 minute video of just the drone flight rowing or swimming on the beach practicing won't be long now they'll be streaming into the sea like lemmings there we go a bit hesitant at first who's gonna be the first oh i don't know little kid there i think well oh, i'm going away oh come on then she's gone off we go yay a stampede isn't it absolutely mental absolutely mental brilliant well done I couldn't do that. I'd be too cold. I really, really would. Look at them. Oh, how do you fancy that on Boxing Day? I don't. <laughs> I'm nice and warm play with my drone, thank you very much. Crazy. Bunch of Santas there in the middle. Bunch of Santa's bottom left. Santa seems to be popular today. And I think most people are dressed up for it, but here goes a streaker right across the bottom. Has he got anything on? I really can't tell. I hope so. Whee! Yay, streaker! Splash! There they all are in the sea with all the um, lifeboats and the lifeboat people and the canoeists to make sure that everyone's safe. And we just pan back out now, get a long shot. We're back onto the uh, 4K video now. And I did stop and do a 360 photo for Google Maps. It's linked below in the description. Sorry for the sudden turn, but that's the drone itself flying itself home. I said, return to home. It said, OK. So it's going up a bit to begin with, because it always does that to cover any possible obstacles. It doesn't know where it is with heights of other buildings. So we're looking up the river now. Nice view of the docks and Shoulder and Bridge. Gonna have a sudden turn, I think, in a second. Or maybe not just yet, but any second anyway. Exit a road there. There we go. Looking back at the beach, because that's the way it was pointing when it took off, you see. So it's turned itself around, lined itself up. It's in exactly the same place now above where it took off. And all it's got to do is chum down, drop down like this. Bye bye, swimmers. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And it's coming down now. And as usual, just going to land on my hand. Simple as. I enjoyed that. Hope you did. And there we go. Well, I think that was a relative success. Um, I managed to get, I think, some fairly good footage. I did drop down into 1080p at one point to enable me to get a bit better zoom so the picture quality won't be quite as sharp as normal but that's okay it gives you an idea anyway had I been up on the seafront wouldn't have seen a thing in fact that's what two people said who came down and said hello are you Bill and I said oh yes hello well I had the drone up and um we chatted briefly I didn't get their names unfortunately but that's because I, I said to them if I didn't have a drone up I'd give you my full undivided but unfortunately I can't but they said they watch me in bed every morning, so hello to them if they're watching this today in bed. <laughs>
But otherwise, yes, that wasn't too bad at all. Wasn't too bad at all. Even did the 360 for Google, which is provided that appears on my memory card. That will be linked in the description below. So quite pleased with that. Right, let's watch the dispersal from the seafront on the seafront and try and look out for Scotty and Mark. <laughs> needle in a haystack, needle in a haystack. Be interesting to see how that filter I had on the drone worked out. Like I say, it's not supposed to do anything amazingly different. Just like a, a, a pair of sunglasses, really. Very mild, but just takes the brightness off the very bright stuff and takes um, a bit of contrast into the normal stuff. Yes, I don't think I'm going to be able to find Scott and Mark, but I've got to look out for the boo-boo buggy, which is like a device used for his elderly dog. So if I see the boo-boo buggy, I know they're nearby. Looks like there's still a few people in the sea as well. And there is Santa himself joining in. Oh, and his apprentice. Right, it's got a bit too chaotic down there for me even to walk through. So um, I've come up onto the top part of the seafront to uh, carry on down here. And again, keep my eye out for Scotty and the Boo Boo Mobile. Now we're no sign room down here, so I'll walk back as far as the pier and then I think I'll head up home because mum's got all sorts of different things she wants me to do today in the afternoon to clear up from Christmas. Empty all the bins and put this out for there and move that over there and put this upstairs and everything really going on. To her it's a huge, huge job if she was doing it herself. To me it's like a quarter of an hour. But that's okay, it's all good, I don't mind. That's what I'll be doing this afternoon on Boxing Day. Well, I've just sent Scotty an email because that's the only contact I've got for him saying I'm on the seafront, call me with my number. So maybe my phone will ring, maybe it won't. You may not get the email, you may not be checking it while he's out and about with Boo Boo. It's all good. Well, they've cleaned away that wall a bit, probably because of the crowds. Pierre's missing a trick, isn't it? You think they'd be open if they wanted the money for the repairs and everything? You think if they all these people down here they'd have put their doors open but nope. <coughs> well that's the entire length of the seafront cupboard. No sign of Scott. Never mind.
I'm gonna head back along the top of the den now. Well, I won't film it, but to my left, the play park is absolutely heaving. Almost like they're doing a maximum capacity test on it for both parents and children. Crazy. Crazy golf area, going great guns. The seafront is indeed clearing now, but still plenty of people. And no Scotty or Boo Boo. 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 <laughs> There's a lifeboat mascot. Well, we caught the warm up on the beach, didn't we? And the splashdown, lovely. And I'm turning back round the other direction because I've just had a phone call. Guess who from? No, not mum. Scott. Lovely. Just going to meet up with him and introduce you all to Boo Boo, my favourite holiday dog. As in, I only see it, or him, when he comes down every so often. But Boo Boo is lovely nonetheless. And this is Boo Boo. I found Boo Boo. Finding Boo Boo. There we go. Lovely. Just like finding Nemo, but it's a dog. Smashing. <laughs> Got his Christmas jumper on everything. Hello, Boo Boo. Sorted. Right, there we go. Hopefully not too an abrupt of an end to the video. As I said, it's only going to be a short one. Glad I managed to find Scott, managed to find Boo Boo. Lovely jubbly. And that was Boxing Day, walking to the sea on Boxing Day in Tynmouth. And I'll see you again soon. Tomorrow, in fact. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.